at the Maritime College with football coach Clayton Kendrick Holmes. And coach, tell us a little bit about uh, today's uh, award ceremony. Obviously, it was very meaningful to you. You had a great season. Your players obviously worked hard. What does this ceremony celebrate? Well, it's really just a great time for us to get together and celebrate the accomplishments of the season. And, um, you know, football takes a great amount of effort from a large group of people. So it's really just great to get together all as a group with the parents, the players, the alums, um, and some of the administrators and support people from campus here that help us have a great season. And so it takes a little while for, you know, football season was a while ago, but, uh, you know, to really put it together and do it right. And so it's just a lot of fun to all get together one last time, particularly with the outgoing season your class and celebrate some of the accomplishments it's good to do now the football program here had been dormant for several years till you came back and helped resurrect it how have you seen the program grow what have you liked about the growth that you've seen yeah it's um, you know the the beginning was a, a, a bit scary honestly going from scratch to actually getting on the field within the first four months and putting together a club team and then moving to Division three. And, you know, we've always just tried to do things right in the best way that we can. And, um, you know, after the first five years, we had the championship season and had a, had a couple of successful years. And then, um, you know, the, the dynamic of the, of the college has changed a little bit with admissions. Um, and, you know, just our, our enrollment has skyrocketed. And which has made it and you know more challenging as a as a group to you know recruit the quality and caliber students. But I tell you, it's been great because um, just the word is out about the great product that we have Maritime here, and so we've you know kind of expanded our recruiting. Um, you know now we have players from California and Texas, um, not just New York and and New Jersey and Connecticut area. So it's it's really been tremendous to see the growth of the program, and um, you know I think with Division three football it's it's a little cyclical. And um, so, you know, we had the highs and then kind of uh, leveled out a little bit. And I, I feel like our program right now is, is kind of on track to take off again. And last year was just a, a big step for us to get in our first bowl game um, in another championship scenario. So um, this next team, 2017, 2017 team has a lot to shoot for, but I think we're, we're on the right track. And so tonight's a big night to kind of, kind of cast the vision for that. Now, we talk a lot when we discuss uh, the Evans Howard Award. We talk a lot about leadership. We talk a lot about academic excellence. You had a tremendous number of students who actually had excellent academic years. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, absolutely. And we're so thankful that, that you helped recognize and, and put a great emphasis on that side of things because that's really so important. Um, in our program is not we're, we're not just playing football here it's it's the whole package when you come to maritime college is you know we're not just here um, to play football but there's the whole side of it whether they're um, it's one way or another they're going to be in the maritime industry whether it's shipping out or being on the shore side industry or specializing um, you know they get that education with the you know engineering business environmental science so um, you know for our guys to do well it's a very challenging math science curriculum um, there's really nowhere to hide here, and uh, we did have a, a, a great number of guys who, uh, you know, met the admiral's list and dean's list and the athletic director's honor roll and, and also academic all-conference. So it's just, it's great to be able to recognize that along with the outstanding football play. And what I, I thought was really neat is a lot of those guys were the same guys. They're, they're doing well in the classroom, and they're also outstanding players on the field. Now we're looking already ahead towards next year. Are you optimistic? Absolutely. We're uh, excited about things, and uh, the guys are working very diligently in the weight room. Um, you know, we're doing a lot of things in the off season with just um, you know personal growth, challenging them. Um, you know, in in certain ways that we need to be challenged in in order to be the best. And I think in a lot of ways it's it's tough. Um, when you're in a tough academic environment, you're in a tough military type environment, um, there's a lot of demand. So to really be focused on being the best, not only in the classroom and off, but also uh, on the athletic side with football, you know, it's, it, it takes a lot of effort and just continuing to stay focused. Our guys are that, um, but that's something that we're, you know, every year's a new year. And, and that's something that they're realizing we, we, we can't, just because we were successful last year, you know, doesn't guarantee anything else. So they're working hard. I'm excited about it. And um, I'm excited because we have a, a lot of our coaches are coming back. Um, and they're, they're great teachers and great people who support our student-athletes. 
with Coach Clayton Kendrick Holmes of the SUNY Maritime football team. I'm John Charan for Sons of the American Legion Radio.